How's the garage sale going, Quagmire? Pretty good, just clearing some of my stuff out of the basement. It's amazing what you find when you clean your basement. Pete, are you almost done down there? <laughs> Look what I found. That's wonderful, Peter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go do some skywriting. <laughs> hey, look at all these videos Mr. Quagmire's selling. Wow, the best of the world's wildest police chases. <gasps> and it even has the one with the Flintstone. Hey, Quagmire, I think I might want to buy this ham radio off you. Sure, Peter, that'll be $50. Peter, you've been fiddling with that ham radio for seven weeks. Take a shower. So far, the only station that comes in is some British guys reading news from places I'm not sure exist. Today, in Kazakhstan, a peaceful demonstration turned to bloodshed as members of the Tuzili tribe. But finally, some good news out of neighboring Kanduzi, as locals there have reached an uneasy alliance. From the world of sport, the Coynton Spinky Wampers flumped the flowing, boing Welfenklompers. 70 fluff. You know, Dad, I saw that movie White Noise, and they said you can use empty radio static to talk to dead people. You idiot, ghosts don't exist. Wait a second, they might. Hello? Hello? Who's this? This is Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? Hey, Quagmire, guess who I'm talking to right now? Ryan, will you take me down to Baby Gap? I want to dress like a small... But you said you'd do it today. Yeah, I'm kind of tired. Well, for God's sake, cancel my Tuesday appointments. Sure thing, Stewie. You want me to move it to another day? No, no, just cancel it. Okay, will do. Who the hell was that? Hmm? There was another Stewie right there. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I've been so damn busy lately. My schedule's been so packed. I felt like I needed some kind of an errand boy to do all my nitpicky, pain in the ass stuff. So I cloned myself. You... you cloned yourself? Well, are you deaf? What? So he's an exact copy of you? Well, not exact. I have to remain superior, so I bred out some of the intelligence. Made him sort of a simpleton, you know. Uh, yeah, I guess. Bitch, Stewie, come here and meet my friend Brian. Hey there, Stewie. Oh, what's that? You got a friend? Oh, I'm always happy to meet one of your friends. Dear God. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. I'm Bitch Stewie. He's got quite a grip. Hey, Bitch Stewie, why are there no midget accountants? Because they always come up short. <laughs> Oh, another good one, Stewie. I don't know where you come up with him. Isn't he wonderful? And all I have to feed him is a crude peanut paste. Watch this. Uh -huh. It's not much, but it's healthier than what people ate in the 50s. Okay, this is one of our favorites. Hope it's one of yours. Don't go breaking my head. You take the weight off of Oh, I give you my Oh, sorry, I didn't realize somebody was in here. What the hell? Oh, hello, Brian. Oh, there's your friend Brian. Hey, Brian, I sure did enjoy talking to you the other day. I'm just making sure Stewie is nice and clean for his trip to the playground this afternoon. We had a little bit of a problem earlier because bitch Stewie was stooling in the tub, wasn't he? I did some poos, I did some poos I didn't mean to. But we've rectified that now and everything's fine. This is really weird. I mean, it's one thing to have him help you out with a busy schedule. It's another thing to let him wash your back. Well, he does more than that, Brian. Bitch Stewie, give me a bubble beard. Look at me. I'm George Bernard Shaw. <laughs> That's awful funny, Stewie. I don't know who George Bernard Shaw is, but you look like an old Stewie, Stewie. Enjoy your weird bath. I told him I did the poos, even though you did the poos, Stewie. Did I do good, Stewie? That was very correct of you, bitch, Stewie. You're a good helper. You might say I broke her Jane Wyman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Reagan is a delight. He sure is. And you know what else? The ghost of Reagan is going to be the new fourth guy in our group. I'm all for that. What other stories you got, Reagan? Hey, Ron, tonight we got a really big show. Ah, Reagan does impressions. That's right. And you know who else does impressions? Rich Little. This is not Reagan? No, it's Rich Little. He's an impressionist. He's been screwing with your head. Well, this thing is worthless. Like my Palestinian alarm clock. Hey, Peter, what's up? Hey, Quagmire. Uh, listen, I'm here to get my money back for that ham radio. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, partner. All sales are final. Yeah, but you were Agamemnon with me during the sale. What? I just saw that word somewhere. I wanted to use it. Look, Peter, why don't you just go home before you get hurt? Well, I'm clearly not the only one who was dissatisfied with his purchase. Whoever bought that baby from you obviously didn't want it. A baby? I didn't sell a baby. Look, there's a note. Glenn. This is your child. Next time, wear a condom, jerk. Oh, my God! Well, now, now hang on, Quagmire. There, there's no guarantee it's your baby. Giggity! Oh, I say that. 
Well, the DNA test results are back. This little girl is definitely your baby, Quagmire. Well, what am I supposed to do? I, I don't want a baby. Now, I brought you a basket of things to get you started. There's baby clothes, some toys, and some books. Now, if you have any questions, we're right across the street. I thought you were going to Bobby Stallings' birthday party. Ugh, I hate that kid. And I hate children's birthday parties. I sent Bitch Stewie in my place. What a great little party, Janet. You know, I've never seen Stewie come out of his shell so much. Oh, no, it's not on his tail. It's on his face. I've ruined it. Oh, no, well, that's okay, though. Somebody else will come along and get it right. You know, Stewie, I gotta say that clone of yours has come in pretty handy. I, uh, don't suppose you'd consider making one of those for me, would you? Oh, maybe. What would you be willing to do for me? What do you want? Take your index finger and your thumb and lightly grip the base of your tail. What? Lightly grip the base of your tail with your index finger and your thumb and then slide your fingers up the length of your tail to the tip. Why? Because that's what I asked you to do. It's kind of weird. Is this some kind of sexual thing? Nobody said anything about sexual. There's nothing sexual about it. I'm just asking you to perform a simple task. Take your index finger and your thumb and lightly grip the base of your tail and run your fingers along the length of your tail. You mean stroke it? Nobody used that word. This is not a stroking motion. This is a completely non-sexual thing I am asking you to do in a completely non-sexual way. Squeeze the base of the tail lightly with your thumb and index finger, and then, while continuing to squeeze, run them up the length of your tail to the tip, and I'll make you a clone. I only have to do it once? I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> I don't know why you're stopping. Nobody told you to stop. Oh, she's a beautiful little girl, Glenn. Have you given her a name yet? Yeah, I named her Anna Lee, but I'm probably just gonna call her Annal for short. That's funny. Thank you. Anyway, thanks for all the baby stuff. Hey, what's that big tarp over there? It was Chris's blankie from when he was a baby. Yeah, he was a big kid. Almost split Lois in half coming out of her. It's true. I never mentioned this because I don't want him to feel bad, but after he was born, they had to rearrange most of my organs. Oh, yeah, he dragged half a Lois right out with him. Yeah, the doctor said I'll be lucky if I live past 50, but Chris is healthy, and I thank God for that. Oh, there you are, Brian. All right, you ready to meet your clone? Am I ever. I've got a to-do list three pages long for him. Okay, now I want to qualify this by reminding you that, as with my clone, the intelligence level is reduced a bit. That's good. We don't want him thinking too much. Yeah, well, I might have dialed yours back a little more than I ought to have. What do you mean? Brian, meet Bitch Brian. Hi, Brian. You got some stuff you want me to do for you? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's kind of what I said, too. I, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, Brian. Here's what happened. I didn't really want to do the work, so... Bitch Stewie sort of did it. Hey, Stewie, how'd the clone turn out? Brian, I can't go to the bathroom by myself. Will you please help me? But I'm good at other stuff. Oh, boy, Quagmire, I, I don't know that we can do that. We, we, we can barely take care of the two we have. Now, now, this is just a suggestion, just throwing it out there. Have you considered abortion? Uh, Peter, I think it's too late for that. Oh, don't let the press put the scare into you. Wade V. Boggs has not been overturned. Yeah, but you can't really abort a live baby. Oh, boy, they have got you. Glenn, Glenn, give her back to God. Yeah, Peter, I'm going to go ahead and move the conversation forward. Is there any way you guys could take Anna Lee? No, Quagmire. We got enough kids of our own, plus old Brian over there. Right, buddy? I sharpened a pencil in my bum, and now I need a Band-Aid. Sir, do you wish to put this child up for adoption? Yeah, it's not working out. I need to get her out of my hair. Well, we can help you there. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Her name's Anna Lee. Oh, beautiful name. Let me take her from you. She, uh, she'll go to a good home, right? Oh, yes. She'll be somewhere safe, right? Like, you're not going to put her with sand people, right? You mean like from Star Wars? <laughs> no, 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 no. Great, Quagmire. A nudie bar is the perfect way to celebrate your first night without a baby. Yeah, Peter, this is great. I feel like myself again. I'll tell you, my life was so dominated by that baby. I'm glad she's gone. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just got to make a decision and go with it. Like when I decided to try that radical penis enlargement. Peter, I don't think... Ryan, your objections are duly noted. Now hit the gas! <laughs> All right, here it is, 625 Maple. That's the family that adopted Anna Lee. Well, it's just me and my old nemesis. What, you out for a walk? I hate this block. <gasps> there she is. There's Anna Lee. <gasps> it's them. 
She looks so happy. Almost like she belongs there. He's not gonna go through with it. It's a nice family and the kid will be better off here. You know, I gotta tell you, I think you did a good thing. Well, I guess I just realized it's not about me. I gotta let her go. I'm proud of you, Quagmire. Thanks, man. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll bump into her in 18 years. What? Did you really think I was gonna change that much? Get out, everybody! <laughs>